Going back to Pride days, I lived in Japan, I saw you fight there as well. Um, now, big difference, uh, one thing that I don't like when I'm watching MMA is a lot of fans who just like to see fighting, they boo a lot when there's a submission going on and they, they don't, it seems they don't understand how technical it is. Do you, does that affect you in the ring or do you not pay attention to that at all? I don't pay attention, but of course you, you, you like to be respect well, for what we do, you know. So if people do not understand, they shouldn't do. Yeah. If they understand what's going on there, when they get a submission game, that's much more technical than that for me, you know. Yeah. It's harder to play, and then maybe when you get in a punch, yeah. you play a submission. Yeah. That's show you you're tougher than yeah. the striker, you know. Because you you open you, you open to to get points and everything, but you still try some you know technique. Yeah. So uh, I really appreciate when people enjoy your growl game. That's one of the, those things you know make me very excited to find it back in Japan. Yeah. That was a very big thing as well. I think culturally wise, the Japanese people, I think they, they understood that and they appreciated the fighters a lot more yeah, yeah. Uh, than it, what it seems like they do in the UFC. I mean, a lot of people just want to see punching and blood and things like that. Uh, I'm one of those people who loves the technical aspect of it. Um, do you purposely ever go out? A lot of fighters go out to put on a show. Are you more of a fighter that wants to put on a show only or you want to win, but you want to win the best way you can? If that's via submission, so be it. Yeah, well, I want to win the best way I can, you know. Of course, uh, I want to put all my technique there in the game if I got a chance. And uh, yeah, like I said, you know, I like when people appreciate what you're doing, they understand what you're doing, you know. And of course, it's, it's, it's motivate you to do better and better yeah. and improve all the time. So yeah, you feel how the crowd and enjoy you, and of course, your show is going to be. Better. How different is it fighting in a cage as opposed to the ring? You know, I've been training a lot in the cage every day, a lot of cage work. You know, so now I'm kind of enjoying it. I, I can tell you, I, I learned how to fight in the cage like last year, in the middle of the last year. You know, before, of course, I always like to fight in the ring. I like the corner of the ring, so you it's good to put your opponent in the corner. You know, and, and, and work for that. It was harder to them to stand up. Because they cannot use the cage for standing up. So yeah. most of the American guys they yeah. use the cage to you know to be up again to put it back in the cage. Yep. And uh, but you know the the, the cage is good. The, the fight never stop. The, the fight never stop. In the cage you gotta push and push and push. Yep. You know whatever the position goes you got you gotta be inside. Sometimes the ring they have to stop to pull you guys in the mirror. You know. Yeah. So to give them some fighters have. Less technique, advantage to rest, you know, and get yourself in a better position. Yeah. So with the uh, being in the UFC now, uh, is a lot of fighters more and more coming from the Pride who used to be in Pride coming over to the UFC. Do you think that's a a, a good indication of how good the fighters in Pride were? I mean, the, was by this time who was the best fighter in the world, you know, with no doubt. Uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, when UFC got the contract of those fight, of those fighters after the Pride was, you know, they stopped Pride. Uh, 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 I mean, most of the fighters came, but a couple have to stay in Japan. Couple Japanese guys, you know. But now on, they know that the UFC become like more global. You know, so they invite couples, couple guys from other countries, yeah. and and uh, and a uh, couple Japanese guys. So I like that. You know, I, yeah. like, I like to see the Japanese guys fighting. They got a lot of good skills. Yeah. You know, and the other guys too. You know. Yeah. Now, uh, respect is a very big thing in the martial arts, and as well as in the fighting. Now, do you have any fighters that? you don't respect the way that they treat their opponents or the, the way that they carry themselves um, yeah <laughs> is there anyone is there anyone that you have a problem with <laughs> no you know I, know I think they 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 got the problem not me <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I have been seeing I've been seeing fighters very different way fight is martial arts yeah you got you got to show that inside of the cage who is the better that's a competition you know which one is the best going to win? It's not outside the cage. It's not outside the ring. 
you know, with attitudes, you don't show anything, you tough or whatever, it's just acting like you're tough, you know. Yeah. That's the thing, that's a competition, you gotta prove yourself, yourself inside of the ring of the cage, you know. Some, a lot, a lot of guys, a lot of guys, yeah. actually those young kids, you know, they don't understand that, you know. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I, I like, what I like in MMA, that's a mixed martial arts. You come, you come for some martial arts background, you know, and uh, and uh, you mix that and be a, a complete fighter. Yeah. But some guys they just started in MMA, so they learn everything, but they never did martial arts. They never step in the dojo with a gi on it. You yeah. Know, and, and they don't know what to expect. I mean, you know, it might be they they came in the wrong way. Uh, that's 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 happens, you know. Yeah, um, you fought some of the biggest names, if not the biggest names in MMA. You fought Fedor, you fought uh, Randy Couture. Uh, what's the most memorable fight for you? I mean, each fight got their own history, you know. I, li I like the fight I did with Crocop in 2003 when Crocop was undefeated. You know, it was a good fight. You know, when I fought Fedor in 2004. We went to the fight, the, the final, and we got uh, some headbutts. So they started the fight. It was, I wasn't a good day. I just beat Kariton off that day. You know, it was my best shape in my career. That day was, man, it was my best shape. Yeah. You know, I could see myself win that the, the belt. Yeah. But it didn't help it happen in 2004. You know, a lot of good fights in my career. You know, I won the four. Bob Sapp and was a like hundred thousand people in the arena. Was mm. full of people. Was was a you know big show. I remember that was the biggest event they ever made. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck. You know, Thank you very much.